Hello everyone, and welcome to another of Cephaldor's World of Warcraft guides. This one is going to finish up our Druid guide setup uh, with GG files to follow you can be looking forward to, as well as maybe some more guides f relating to add-ons and enchants and things that Druids would look at, but in a more broad spectrum, not specifically Druid. So, let us start with our glyphs for bear. This is going to be the bear glyph guide. So that means all of your healing glyphs you're going to ignore, all of your spell glyphs you're going to ignore, and all of your cat glyphs you're going to ignore. This is a very easy one to glyph, however, I'm a completionist and some people are not sure what they should take. So for the sake of those people as well as my own sanity, we are going to do this. Now, for the Prime Glyphs, we have Glyph of Mangle, which increases damage done from Mangle by 10%. We also have Glyph of Berserk, which you can see down here, which increases the duration of Berserk by 5%, or 5 seconds, pardon. And we have Lacerate, which increases the critical strike chance of Lacerate by 5%. Now, you might have just noticed something interesting. Wait a minute, there's only 3 Glyphs that a bear would actually use? Yes, that's right. So, I bet you can't guess which three glyphs you're going to be picking. Mangle, Berserk, and Lacerate. Because everything else in the Prime Glyph section is either a Caster Glyph or a Cat Glyph. Therefore, completely useless for a bear. Assuming you are staying in bear form 100% of the time, which any tank who is in his right mind will be doing. Now, now that the super hard stuff is out of the way, let's move on to Major Glyphs. We have Glyph of Feral Charge, which reduces the cooldown of your Bear Charge ability by one second. We have Glyph of Maul, which causes your Maul to hit an additional target for 50% of the damage. We have Glyph of Bark Skin, which reduces the enemy's ability, sorry, the enemy's melee attacks chance to crit you by 25%. We also have Glyph of Frenzied Regeneration, which instead of eating up Rage to heal yourself, it now increases the healing effects when they're placed on you by 30%. I.e., basically it increases incoming healing on you, but you no longer heal yourself. So, that saves you on rage, but and also lets the healers have an easier time on you. However, if all your healers are dead, don't turn to it for help. And that is pretty much it for bears. Also, there's fairy fire, which increases the range of fairy fire by 10 yards. So... Let's see, can thorns be used in bear form as well? Let's see, where is that thorns? There it is. Uh, no, you get moved out of bear form, so thorns is out of the question as well. Which leaves us with four? Feral Charge, Maul, Frenzied Regen, Fairy Fire, and Barkskin. Okay, five. And Barkskin can be easily ruled out because in your spec you get your 6% uncritability and therefore you no longer need any more uncritability and that becomes null and void. Which leaves us with four. Frenzied Regen, Fairy Fire, Maul, and Feral Charge. Uh, I would say Maul is a very nice one to pick up for a major glyph because it does not hinder you in any way, shape, or form, and it allows you to hold threat on multiple mobs better than before. However, it is only a 50% of the damage done by Maul on the additional target, so you need to watch that. After that, we can look at Fairy Fire, which is not a bad ability at all, as Fairy Fire creates a huge amount of threat, so having 10 extra yards on that is not a bad thing. Frenzied Regen is also nice. 30% more incoming healing can be very vital in the right situation. And finally, you could also look at Feral Charge. However, you can always tell your group to wait a couple seconds, so that one second off of Feral Charge Bear is not going to be as helpful, I would say. So, I would say out of these four, Frenzied Regen and Maul Major Glyphs are the two that you really need to take. Uh, that would be optimal, I should say. And then Fairy Fire and Feral Charge between those two is completely up to you. It's really semantics at that point, whether you want 10 extra yards on a essentially taunt or one second off your charge is up to you. Neither will make a smashing difference. I personally would take Fairy Fire. And finally, Minor Glyphs. 
Finally, something different than Dash Mark of the Wild Unburdened Rebirth, I would recommend Dash Mark of the Wild Challenging Roar. Or, conversely, Dash Challenging Roar Unburdened Rebirth would be the one I would take, looking at this a little closer, as Mark of the Wild is obviously cast out of combat, and whether it gets dispelled or not, in a situation you will not have time to switch out and cast Mark of the Wild again, as any second spent out of bear form is a second you will die. Conversely, you could debate, oh, well, Unburdened Rebirth, you have to jump out to cast that. However, in the event that someone dies, it is easy to wait till the next break in the fight to go cast that, such as a taunt off from the other tank. And uh, casting Rebirth would be a little more vital than casting Mark of the Wild. So I would recommend Dash, Unburdened Rebirth, and Challenging Roar, as Challenging Roar's minor ability is reduces the cooldown of it by 30 seconds, which is nice because that's your AoE taunt, which causes everything to focus to you. And also, Dash requires you to be in cap form. You say, why would you take Dash? Well, in fights to pull on your knowledge of Watlick a bit, like Marogar, where he starts doing Born Storm and doesn't really have a target, the faster you move, the faster you can get away from him. The faster you get away, the less damage you're taking. So... Situations like that, dash can be helpful to have the cooldown reduced, depending on uh, distance between intervals, or phases, I should say. So, quick summary. Prime Glyphs, there's only the three to pick. Mangle, Berserk, and Lacerate. In Majors, I would recommend definitely taking Glyph of Maul, Glyph of Frenzied Regen, and I would take Glyph of Fairy Fire, and if you don't like Glyph of Fairy Fire, then I would recommend getting Glyph of Feral Charge. And finally, for miners, I would recommend Dash, Unburdened Rebirth, and Challenging Roar. This has been Taladorna, or Cethaldor, uh, the, on the Server Blade's Edge, in the Guild Sacrilege, on the character Taladorna, on Bear Glyphing, in Cataclysm. Wow. Thank you for listening. And uh, can't wait to put another one out for you guys. See ya.